yes children now see the third worksheet that is from multiplication chapter in multiplication chapter you have uh, known so many things all the properties of multiplication how to do multiply by one digit and and by two digit multiplier also okay so here the first question is fill ups in multiplication the number being multiplied is called as in multiplication sum there are three parts okay multiplier multiplicand and product the number that is being multiplied is called multiplicand and it is multiplied by which number that is called multiplier and the answer is called product so here the multiplication the number being multiplied is called as okay so that you have to write what is that okay next question b if a number is multiplied by 0 then the product is thus okay so 0 is multiplied to any number the answer will be what 0 only next c in a multiplication sum the answer is called thus okay then d 1153 multiplied by 100 is equal to thus so, so when you are doing multiplication by 10, 100 or 1000, okay, as many zeros are there, that many zeros we write with the number. Without doing the multiplication, we write the answer, we can write the answer like this, okay. So, when you are multiplying by 100, then write two zeros to the right side of the number. Then when you are multiplying by 10, write one zero. Suppose 5 multiply by 10, it is 50. So, just write one zero to the side of the 5 like that when you multiplying by 1000 write 30 at the right side of the digit number next 14 multiply by 7 is equal to dash okay here you can multiply and write 14 7 ja. then here 12 multiply by dash multiply by 4 is equal to 4 multiply by 3 multiply by dash so here it comes the properties of multiplication both side of is equal to sign same number should be there so you have to find which one number is missing in this side and which number is missing in this side okay then g the product of any number and one if one is multiplied to any number what will we get okay next 748 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2 multiply by dash okay next 118 multiply by 1 is equal to dash okay 1 is multiplied to any number so what you will get next is 21 multiply by 1000 okay is equal to dash so here 1000 is multiplied how many zeros are there that number of zero only you have to write at the right side of the number 21 next question to multiply 63 multiply by 56 so here the multiply so 63 is called multiplicand 56 is multiply here the multiplier is two digit number okay so very uh, carefully remember when you are multiplying by 6 you start from this one's place below 6 but when you are multiplying by 5 you start writing from the tens place means below 5 only okay then you write and multiply and add here 2144 multiply by 3. So 3 you have to multiply by 3 4 ja, then 3 4 ja, then 3 1 then 3 2. Carry the number see if it is being carried over and also add. Okay. Next 528 multiply by 50 and 3150 multiply by 7. When you are doing the multiplication write the numbers in separate boxes. Okay. Don't overlap any number don't write two number two digits or three digits in one box it will be wrong okay so very carefully do and very important that you have to learn the tables okay learn the tables at least till nine table you should be very thorough otherwise it will be difficult for you to do the multiplication sum without any error okay hope you will do do it nicely and do this also in your maths copy okay Thank mm -hmm. you.